Spoiler alert! Earth gets stabbed. Spoiler alert! Which one of these song titles match up best with this scene? A. Staying alive. B. Living my life like it's golden. C. Life is better. Or D. Bitch, you got a hole in your stomach. Bitch, you got a hole in your stomach! As we all know by now, Aerith gets a tummy injection by way of her spine from a 2,000 foot long sword. And of course, the equation of sword plus tummy equals no more heal spells. But somehow, if you don't happen to know anything about Aerith, it's likely because you spent all of your damn time looking at those tank top titties from Tifa. And that's because... Everybody know that Tifa is the number one bitch? And that shit is even more evident after I did a search for Aerith. Cause I just kept getting fucking Tifa pictures. Like this masterpiece ass shit right here. God damn. It looked like even her ass is surprised her titties are that big. Yeah, just leave your shirt up like that. You need to air them motherfuckers out. Anyway, really the only thing her and Tifa have in common is a passion for big ass boots. The fuck? It's like every day is a damn hike for these hoes. They like Rick James ass bringing mud and shit on a nigga couch. Fuck your couch, nigga. <laughs> but beyond that, the similarities end there. Mostly because Tifa is a bitch that'll beat your ass, and Aerith is a bitch that'll treat your ass. So basically, you can consider her a walking pack of band-aids or Obamacare with a pink dress and some big ass feet. Also, I guess we might as well mention the confusion over her name as well. In America, she was known as Aerith. And in Japan, her name is the same. But you gotta say it like you got a gay lisp and shit. But as far as her looks go, I mean, we already know that she ain't fucking with my girl with the unnecessary suspenders, but she holds her own, I guess. Like, she tries to be sexy with that Quaker-ass dress by unbuttoning a couple of buttons from the bottom. Like, yeah, nigga, you want some of this knee? <laughs> Fuck out of here. But really, Eric is for all those dudes that fantasize about having a video game version of Elaine from Seinfeld. The first few seasons. Who the fuck thought that shit looked good? Looked like she rocking the Declaration of Independence special and shit. So somehow, Cloud fell 10 stories from the sky onto fucking flat ass ground and survived off some we gonna do whatever the fuck we want to in this bitch story when he first met her. By the way, this was during a time when even if these motherfuckers looked like they were made with mega blocks, that you were supposed to pretend that they actually looked good and shit. I mean, I guess you could say her ass looks kinda good right here. Nope, nah, that shit looked like a damn Tetris piece. What's crazy is, Cloud's lying ass ain't even the first dude she found that fell into the church. The exact same shit happened with Zack. Like, how many other times has she been waiting there with niggas just falling from the sky? <laughs> and she just go with them off GP and shit. And look, her ass is waiting in church with a damn nightgown and shit. Ooh, how crazy and random that you just happened to fall from the sky into my flower bed in this motherfucker. Fuck that. I know you're a verse rapist ass deal. These niggas was dead because the good Lord Michael gifted us with the use of gravity. Gravity all day, every day. Gravity all day, all day. Oh shit. But anyway, after her morbid ass connected their elbows and unbroke their necks, she gone and get dressed up and shit and act like she don't know what the fuck happened. You see, you fell from the sky. Hey, does this blue string go well with my titties? Look at that subliminal shit too. So you niggas ain't noticed it, but I am P-Life Master Status. So I noticed that her whole ass got a string by her boobs and by her Final Fantasy down there. Yeah, you freaky nigga falling catching bitch. Seriously, look at this slinky shit. Now see, this ain't no mega blocks right here. That's some perfectly rounded out polygonal ass. And that's probably her green ass nigga falling alerter. Alert, some dick is falling in the church. Alert, some dick is falling in the church. See, Tifa don't need stuff like that because her ass is fine as hell. Ain't that right, Tifa? If it's true, appear on my screen and be fine as hell. <laughs> Guess it's true. The thing is that Aerith... <laughs> Look at they blocky butts. But with Aerith, you have to final fantasize a little more with her because there's always the lingering memory of her extra wide belly button hanging around. So you gotta act like you remember the time when Tifa pissed on Aerith's face. Wait, that didn't happen, did it? I ain't buy the special edition. But I guess we do have to take her shapely ass into account. Like right here. Oh! After seeing this, I wouldn't really mind falling into the church. But then I guess I also have to take into account the amount of niggas that ran up in her. See, 
She can heal her own herpes. But nigga, your ass is stuck with it for life. Nah, nigga, that ain't poison. That's the hurts. But I guess the reason that there's so many ass shots of her instead of boob ones is because, well, she ain't got none. Seriously, I don't know if it's any plastic surgeons in Midgar, but when you got bitches looking like this walking around, yes, this is an excuse to show Motifa. You just gotta work with what you know works best. And of course that's nigga falling catching traps while wearing booty dresses. What you expect, my dude? She from the hood. Damn, she a goddamn hood rat. So because the internet is the internet, of course, we gotta show a ton of nasty ass artwork to show what Final Fantasy VII did not have the balls to show. And yes, that is right. Video games actually do have testicles. Right here, we have a comparison of the two titans. And even with the enhancement that whoever Judas graciously gave her, she like, damn, I gotta compete with that? What up, Tifa? You know you are fine, right? We got the swimsuit version from when they went on the beach. Sexiness, sunshine and sexiness. And this right here is how she greets you when you wake up from being reanimated by her ass in the church. And nigga, there is simply no way not to palm that ass. Simply no way. And of course, three minutes after you meet her, she gets on her knees and starts praying to some death. Ah, oh, yeah. See, I mean, if you wake from certain death and see a fine-ass bitch like this, it's really hard not to instantly fall in love and try to undo her naughty strings, like Zack is doing right here. And this is a martial arts style known as work that bitch. So I can't blame the dudes for falling for her. <laughs> Literally. Now let's go ahead and smack her in the face with some numerical material. Aerith gets an eight. She obviously can't match up with Tifa, but she does know how to work with what she has, even though it's in the most devious manner possible. And I'm not even gonna get on the fact that she enjoys seeing the dudes that she's with cross-dress, even though I'm pretty sure Cloud's bitch ass would have been for it even if she didn't suggest it. Well, she might not have the banging ass body that Tifa has, but she does have the boots. I don't fucking know. But also what she has is a bunch of trickery to make you feel unique until some other dude falls from the ceiling after you die. Barrett, do you trust her? <laughs> Shut your coon ass up. So since her game is having dudes fall from the sky and then trick them to getting with her and banging them, it's only right that one of these dudes finally takes care of her entrapping ass. Aerith, this stab is for all the unsuspecting men worldwide that fall from the damn sky and you have your trickery ass way with them. Go and give her what she needs, you effeminate weirdo with a theme song. Stop Let me put this shit in whole motion. <sighs> she opened 24 hours for dirty business. Yes, I- <laughs> Now if you did this correctly, you should probably be seeing a bunch of crazy ass shit. I'm serious. In fact, I'm kinda having second thoughts. Oh my God.